Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here with another word of encouragement for you from the uh, Word of God. Today's verse comes from 2 Corinthians 4, 9, which says, We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. You know, yesterday we talked about the fact that there's a lot of pressures that come from the outside, political, emotional, spiritual, uh, financial, and, and we really struggle with that. But I think today Paul is talking more on a personal level. If you think what it must be like to be hunted as an animal, uh, every time you walk through the woods, you wonder what's going to be over the next hill, what's hiding behind those rocks, what's behind that tree. Uh, you hear a gunshot, you're worried about the fact that you could be next. Uh, life must just be constant fear for them. Uh, or if you're, like, say, for example, a rabbit out in the field and a cloud goes over the sun and uh, you get afraid because you don't know if it's a cloud going over the sun or if it could be a hawk swooping down ready to scoop you up in your talons or in its talons. Uh, <coughs> life is constant fear uh, for those that are hunted. And yet God says we're never abandoned. It's, it's, and he's talking, per I think he's talking more about the personal attacks that we have here. Uh, when we're personally being hunted and sought out by someone to destroy us, when we're personally being uh, sought out, and he said, Paul even says we might even get knocked down, but we need to realize that God is there for us. He's there to protect us. He's there to, to keep us from being abandoned and destroyed. Uh, we may get beat up once in a while. We may uh, suffer some wounds. We may suffer some losses, but God will never abandon us. He's always there for us. He's always there to pick us up when we fall, brush us off, and then say, keep going, move on. So let me encourage you with that today, just to remember that God never abandons you. If you feel like you're under extreme attack from somebody else or something else, remember that God knows he loves you, and this might just be a time that he wants to help you to grow stronger and closer to him. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for the times that I feel hunted down when I feel attacked, but I thank you for the fact that in those times I know that I'm loved by you and that you will never abandon me. I thank you for the times that I fall down, I stumble, I blow it, fall flat on my face. Uh, thank you for the fact that you have helped me get up, brush me off, and send me on my way to try again. I pray for anybody that uh, might be struggling with those things, just ask you to encourage them. I pray for our, uh, those on the front lines right now, those that are our law enforcement and service people, that you would uh, keep them safe, encourage them, especially during this most destructive time. I uh, pray for those in the medical profession and that you would just encourage them to as a minister with the many that are ill with many different diseases. Uh, I pray these things in your name. Amen. Hey, thanks for stopping in today. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time.